All right, the thumbnail was plenty stupid enough it actually took before I was ready, so. Uh, there's some notice it just gave me. Wonder what that is. I'll just start hitting random buttons. It's been a good week. Uh, it's been a long week. Um, wasn't able to start playing the harp until Thursday, and then Thursday and last night I spent hours and hours playing the harp. Stream Hunts 2.0 says, "Hey, hey, Stream Hunts 2.0, how you doing?" Jonathan Riles, how's it? How's it going? How's the harping? The week was fairly hot, and then toward the weekend it got pretty rainy, and right now it's miserably humid outside. Oh, I'm doing well. TZ5 double T. It's actually so humid outside right now, the windows are condensating on the outside of the house. Brian Bell, how are you doing? Got a new dog today. Um, his name is Diesel. That was a lot of fun. Our dog, Mr. Magoo, passed away uh, about a year and a half ago. Yeah, not quite a year and a half ago. And we just decided to give another. Hey, Mark Shaw, how are you doing? I'm gonna make the tribute harp I made for Magoo. I'll just play that. That seems that seems apt for the evening. The dog we got is a cane corso mix. What are the harps called that rest against the lips rather than the teeth? Joseph Vodo asks. Um, there's a lot of different ones that rest against the lips, uh, like the Susap. Old, old school. It's probably the oldest school design of a harp I have. Let's see if I can get it rolling. Can I show the new dog? Well, let me see here. Actually, my wife's upstairs. I probably better not disturb her. Let me see if I can get the dog to come to the edge of the staircase without disturbing anyone. Let's just go meet the new dog. We're doing some harp and we got a new dog. Hello, buddy. We're live right now. We're just showing the new dog. This is Diesel. Hello, buddy. He's a young dog. His head seems disproportionately large for his uh, small, skinny body. We got him from the local animal shelter. He's a good buddy. He's the new height or the new uh, harp dog. I kind of nicknamed him Duber because he's a Dubery dog. Our last dog was a square-headed dog. And after Donovan was born, uh, I can do this and talk at the same time. Huh. After Donovan was born, uh, he ended up passing away about a month after that. And he was super gentle around uh, the newborn infant. And when we went to the uh, animal shelter, to uh, we just we just went to look. We didn't look to get go get a dog. That dog was super gentle around Donovan, and he's a good watchdog. Good buddy. Anyways, we'll stop talking and do some playing. right at the bottom of the throat. Yeah. 
got a curved read on it so it sounds sounds really gnarly and really wooji. Anyways, what's he gonna play? Oh yeah, I've been playing on this Plenahov or Pl not Plenahov, it's Plehanov. Um, I unboxed yesterday. I had one of his lower tuned harps and I brought this harp upstairs. Maybe <laughs> seems like everything I touch now is covered in dog hair. Like you, Mr. Diesel. He's already assisting with the herring of the harps. <laughs> I got a higher tuned harp from Planov and it's just, I like it quite a bit. <laughs> it's very, very stiff. It reminds me a little bit, not in the sound, but in the feeling to uh, uh, the early Norevsky I got uh, by Masco. Once if I'd say the Plehanov is a touch, or maybe not a touch, but a mite bit stiffer, if that's improper English enough for you. And it's, it's, it's yeah, quite a bit shorter. <laughs> Once it starts singing, it's pretty pretty loud. Another harp I've been getting down on. I've only had this one. Uh, said I got it unboxed on Thursday or was it Friday? I think it was Friday. I got this one unboxed on. Yeah, it was Friday. I just aired. I meant to get the unboxing out the same day, but it Friday got busy and aired. On Saturday, sitting right next to its brother there. Pull we'll this up. We'll play a few more harps. We won't be live for too long tonight. About 15 minutes. This is a busy, busy time of year. Just got a new dog. Also, we went to the fair today, which was a fun experience. Took Donovan on a Ferris wheel. Held on to him like this the whole time. Oh, yeah, I was playing on this last night. I took several, or I took one malt sev to the festival. I have another one in a drawer over there. Um, still haven't got it on the website, but, and it got a touch of rust on it because we were getting rained on quite a bit during the, uh, during the early stages of the camping of the festival, sprinkling here and there, and got a little bit of rust on it. They just colored it a little bit. So I'm like, oh, that is the perfect, that is the perfect reason to add it to my collection. Mark Scholl says there is a second sound coming through on that harp. Ah, on the, uh, on the Plahanov, yeah, there's a little bit of, uh, I like it when they're, with harps, there's a tone that dances in the background. This is a, uh, malt sub, we'll see where, we'll see where I go with it. Oh, where it goes. So I've got coughs and I've got sneezes every once in a while. It is getting to be that time of year. I think we're I think we're gliding right into fall. And I'm about ready for it. I'm ready for the summer 
to be over. Let's see, how many minutes do we have left? We got five minutes left. I'll play this one's brother. Not brother, uh, another master. Uh, the guy who taught Maltsev. So I've got a Chim Choi of Deer I added to my collection. My tongue pressed tear clip blah 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 pressed clear to the tip of my mouth and I'm just moving the bottom and the back of it. Mr. Murphy par par parodies 1999 said, Have you heard of Elena? Yes, I have. She yeah, she's got really cool videos. She's got tutorials. Um she also um yeah, performs uh, for on famous uh, famous stages as well. She's fantastic. <laughs> I've actually um, also watched a few of her uh, videos where she was uh, drumming, and uh, they, they, they take you to a really cool place as well. Nick Coleman says, I wouldn't be able to sell my heart. <laughs> um, he said, you, oh, dude, just just uh, just mail it out this way. I'll get a read in it, and I'll, I'll throw in some harps, and, and, I'll, and I'll mail it back to you. Uh, don't worry about paying right now. We need, we need to get you a harp going, Mr. Nick Coleman. <laughs> so, yeah, just pop it in the mail, or I'll get something in the mail for you this week because so, – you need a harp to play on. Don't, don't want to be waiting for, for harping. Should I have a couple harps? I could probably send... Uh, if I... Shoot me a, a, a message uh, with your address because I don't think I remember... I don't think I still have your address. I'll, I'll get you a harp in the mail. like that harp uh the chem choy have they got a lot going on with them there they have like a melodic bell ring but also they scream and have twang to them it's a it's an interesting mix i do enjoy that a lot of, a lot of the makers who are fantastic the ones i've sampled uh then they then they are a bit pricey Anyways, good harps are good. The price on them are, is going up everywhere. And that's due to demand. That's a good thing because lots more people are getting into the harp. Play a few of these Dabrowski I got. Mm. This time of year, I'm just super, super snotty because the, uh, of the pollen and whatnot. See, I find it easier to just wear the necklace. You're playing so you're not holding the weight of the case. The cases are pretty cool too. Hey Charles Longstaff, how are you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just looked in our uh, our cameras a little bit askew, and now I've made it even more askew the next way. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're at almost 15 minutes. Oh, those last five minutes flew by way too fast. I'm gonna play one more harp. We're gonna be done with it. I hope everyone's 
as everyone's getting ready to go back to school and summer's drawn to an end, lots of people are going on vacation. Hope everyone's being safe and traveling safe and playing the harp. It's a great time of year to go outside and do some harping. Uh, the weather's beautiful. Well, not beautiful. It's hot mixed with uh, mixed with humidity here in Kansas, but hopefully the cool weather is coming. Anyways, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. I love y'all. Keep your harps clean. Keep them dry. Keep them oiled. School, he says school starts September. Oh, nice. Cool. Anyways, uh, love y'all. Keep your arms clean. Keep them dry. Keep them old. Yada, yada, yada. Have an awesome end of your summer. Harp out.